Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. Now we are going to discuss Amplitude Shift Keying, known as ASK in short. Here we will understand what is ASK, the concept of ASK, its definition, along with the waveforms of ASK, okay, how it looks like. We will also see the mathematical representation of ASK waveform, okay. Not only this, we will also discuss here the generation of ASK signal. We will see its uh, block diagram, how it is uh, generated. Along with this, you will also learn the power spectral density, PSD of ASK signal. So let's start with the basics of ASK. We will cover all these things in this video lecture. So please don't go anywhere. Keep watching till the end. So let's start this video lecture with the concept of amplitude shift keying ASK in short. Actually this ASK is a digital modulation technique and another category is analog modulation. So what is the basic difference between the digital modulation techniques and analog modulation techniques? Examples of digital modulation techniques are ASK, FSK, PSK etc. Amplitude shift keying, FSK is frequency shift keying and uh, PSK is a phase shift keying. These are the basic uh, digital modulation techniques. There are also others. And uh, analog modulation techniques are AM, FM, PM, amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. So the difference is uh, mainly on the basis of a modulating signal, that is the message signal. In uh, digital and analog, both kinds of modulation, the carrier wave is of analog nature. It is analog. But in case of uh, analog modulation, the modulating signal is of analog kind. But uh, while in case of digital modulation, the modulating signal, the message signal is of digital nature. It is in terms of binary inputs. It is a stream of binary or digital inputs. So this is the basic difference. So in the same way, we can understand the difference of ASK and AM. In uh, amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the analog carrier wave is modulated by the instantaneous values of the modulating signal. In the same way, in ASK also, the amplitude of the sinusoidal carrier wave, which is analog, is modulated or it's, uh, it's switched according to the digital input signal. Here the modulating signal is of digital nature. So we can say that ASK is analogous to AM because in both of these cases the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed, varied or you can say switched according to the modulating signal. Okay, The difference is only of the nature of the modulating signal. The concept will be more clear with the help of this waveform. Here we have a stream of input digital input signals. Okay digital inputs 0 1 1 0 0 1 and this is a sinusoidal carrier wave it is analog in form it is not digital but this is digital input signal so whenever it is zero input is zero then no wave is transmitted there is no transmission transmission is zero but when it is one then a continuous sinusoidal carrier wave is passed okay so it is one and here it is also one so from here to here we transmit this part this continuous carrier wave okay when it becomes zero again then no transmission is done the carrier wave is not passed okay and again here it is zero so it is zero here and one so from here to here we transmit this carrier wave so at the places where it is zero no transmission is done and uh, where it is one we transmit this continuous carrier wave which is analog so this is the ASK amplitude shift keying you can see here as per the digital uh, input the carrier wave transmission is affected okay whenever it is zero no transmission is done and when it is one the carrier wave is transmitted so this carrier wave has been modulated as per the variations in the digital input signal it has been switched according to this digital input stream of signals here it is also written that it is known as on off keying 
O O K. Since in this modulation technique, the carrier wave is switched on or off based on the input binary sequence. Now we will understand the generation of binary amplitude shift keying. So let's see the generation of uh, amplitude shift keying ASK signal. Here we can generate this ASK signal simply by uh, applying incoming binary data. This uh, binary data we have seen the input is in the form of binary streams, ones and zeros. It is digital in nature. So we apply this uh, incoming binary data and the sinusoidal carrier to two inputs of a product modulator that is a balanced modulator. So for the generation of uh, ASK signal what we do we have a product modulator which is a balanced modulator at the two inputs of this product modulator we apply at the first input we apply binary wave in unipolar form binary stream okay digital data in uh, ones and zeros form okay at the one input and at the other input we apply the sinusoidal carrier signal and the resulting output that we will obtain will be the binary amplitude shift keying waveform okay it would be ASK signal so the process of generation of ASK is simple we just uh, apply this binary waveform at the first input and at the second input of this product modulator we apply the carrier wave and their product results in the binary ASK signal one thing that you should notice here that this binary wave is in unipolar form unipolar means only one pole is there uh, it means uh, we transmit uh, when we have a uh, one as the input then we transmit the continuous the analog form of carrier wave sinusoidal carrier wave and there is no transmission when the input is zero carrier wave is not transmitted when the input signal is zero so it is having only one pole it is not like uh, when it is uh, one then it is transmitted it does not have any negative component no transmission and transmission these are the two cases for zero and one respectively now let's analyze the power spectral density of the ASK signal here you need to understand that the modulation causes a shift of uh, the baseband signal spectrum there is a shift in the spectrum power spectrum of of the baseband signal that is the modulating signal since we have seen already that uh, we get this ASK waveform at the output of the product modulator which is the product of the binary sequence and the carrier wave it has the power spectral density also known as PSD in short same as that of the modulating on off signal that is baseband on off signal but it is shifted in frequency domain by plus minus FC here it has been shifted you can also notice here that the two impulses this and this happen at uh, plus FC and minus FC that is plus minus FC have two impulses okay in this power spectral density this is the power spectral density of ASK versus frequency curve if you observe this spectrum then you will see that uh, the spectrum of ASK signal has an infinite bandwidth this bandwidth is infinite but for uh, practical cases we define the bandwidth as the bandwidth of an ideal bandpass filter which is centered at uh, FC having output up to 90% of the total average power content of the ASK signal this is the positive side of the spectrum and here is the negative side and these both of these are symmetrical okay everything is symmetrical now we will see how we can mathematically represent amplitude shift keying ASK this is the mathematical representation so let's see let's say that we represent the carrier wave as a cos of 2 pi FCT here a is the peak value of the sinusoidal carrier wave this is the carrier wave okay and uh, this is a sinusoidal wave and here FC is the frequency of the carrier wave T is time so for a standard 1 ohm load resistor the power dissipated would be we know that the power is VRMS square divided by R and VRMS is written as V max maximum peak divided by root 2 so it's a square whole square divided by 1 we are taking R as 1 ohm load standard resistor okay so it is 1 so if you solve it we will get uh, V max is what V max is here A okay is the maximum amplitude 
so a by root 2 whole square equals to a square by 2 so power comes out to be a square by 2 from here we get a equals to under root 2p so we can replace this a by under root of 2p square root of 2p so the ask can be represented mathematically as st equals to under root 2p cos 2 pi fct so we can write it as this equation when 1 is to be transmitted we have seen that whenever digital input the stream of input at the uh, at the transmitter is 1 then a continuous sinusoidal wave is transmitted so it is transmitted when the input is 1 there is no transmission of carrier wave when the input is 0 so st is 0 that is no signal is transmitted when 0 is to be transmitted I think you got the point the concept is same just we have used the mathematical terms here when one is to be transmitted we allow this carrier wave in this form this is the amplitude okay under root 2 ps is what a and when zero is to be transmitted no signal is transmitted for zero transmission so this is the mathematical representation i think it's very simple so this was all about amplitude shift keying we discussed here its definition its concept the mathematical representation, power spectral density and how to generate the block diagram of the generation of ASK. In the next videos, we will see the demodulation of uh, ASK. We will also see the frequency shift keying and phase shift keying also. So keep watching Engineering Made Easy. Till then, bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.